Hello there guys, Shannon here, and I am back to react to another episode of Death Battle. This will be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Battle Royale. Go Raphael. Um, <laughs> Leonardo for second. Uh, then I'd probably say Donatello and Mikey. Uh, that's the order I expect them to, you know, win. First would be Raphael. Mikey would probably be Lest. For those who were wondering, Mikey, Michelangelo. You wouldn't believe how... How many people don't actually know that? But, yeah, we're going to pretty much jump right in because I'm pretty sure Raphael is just going to kick the ass of all of them. Why won't you start? Don't be a douche! This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Gamefly. Gamefly for the win. www.gamefly.com slash deathbattle for your free trial membership. Don't tell me what to do. Revision! Death Battle! Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were grown for moves and raised by a warrior rat in the sewers of New York to be the world's most fearsome fighting team. Lots of superheroes have some weird origin stories, but this one is plain ridiculous. Their greatest so true. battles are family bonded teamwork, but on their own, which turtle is deadly? <laughs> Raphael! And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Raphael, I keep Leonardo, telling you. The leader of the team is smart and strategic with a strong sense of honor. Too bad he traded his sense of humor for that sense of honor. This guy always means serious business. His weapon of choice is an Injakin sword. Shorter, sturdier, and straighter than an ordinary katana, and designed for swift, deadly strikes. Out of all the turtle's weapons, the Ninjakin is the only one specifically designed to murder people. And what's better than one Ninjakin? Two, damn it! <laughs> Many timelines, Leonardo Two, damn it. Who ultimately defeats the Shredder, though always with plenty of help. As leader, he is usually the one with the plan. He spends most of his time training his body and mind under his Master Splinter's instruction and follows Bushido, a strict samurai code of honor and duty. Bushido's At awesome. At one point, he even fought and killed a sort of physical embodiment of the devil. <laughs> giving Keanu Reeves the much-needed break. <laughs> Leonardo finds it difficult to accept failure. Should things go horribly wrong, his concentration can quickly slip away from him, leaving him sloppy and imprecise. Leo doesn't like to lose. Quit clowning, you guys. This is serious. Donatello is the brains of the bunch. Oh, yes. Right, Boomstick. <laughs> Somehow, he learned to operate and manipulate both human and alien technology without any formal education or budget whatsoever. Because, you know, screw it. 100% fluent techno babble. The resulting intermittent multipolar flux should create the electromagnetic pulse! What the hell of course! All that gibberish means he's probably trained less than the others, devoting more of his time for science. <laughs> Fortunately, his useful bow staff makes up for I love the bow staff. I own a bow staff! Oak and six feet long, the bow gives Donatello far more attack range than his other brothers. The range is nice, but takes a lot of time and patience to kill anybody with a stick. He's no expert strategist, that's Leonardo's turf, but Donatello is considered the most level-headed of the turtles. Even with his time spent tinkering, he's still a very capable warrior, easily keeping up with his brothers and even killing the Shredder in an alternate dimension. An ass-kicking nerd? I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm making this up as I go. <laughs> I don't believe that either. The turtles. He's lazy, undisciplined, and easily distracted. He spends Sounds like Pinkie Pie. Playing video games, watching TV, reading comic books, and eating pizza. That turtle is fucked up. What? Come on, you can't tell me that that turtle is not on drugs. <laughs> I don't know. I thought he was dropped as a kid. Okay, look, he has all the signs: strange eating habits, inability to pay attention, <laughs> incoherent phrases. Moving on, his weapon of choice: the bomb. No, the <laughs> is it really a weapon at all. It's a farming tool for threshing grain. <laughs> These weapons are unnecessarily overcomplicated clubs with the effectiveness of a tattered fly swatter. Yet somehow Michelangelo has been able to blunder his way through fights to victories he really doesn't deserve. <laughs> he even beat Raph once. Sure, I get it. Swing chucks around gives them momentum to hit with and blah blah blah. But in the end, a baseball bat will give you the same effect and more with much less effort. <laughs> Seriously, who came up with these things? They're preposterous. You're preposterous. I don't know. <laughs> and for some reason, in all his infinite wisdom, the great Master Splinter gave the most complicated weapon to the retard of the game. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like he's not gonna win this fight, is he? He better. <laughs> he won't oh, fucking win it. <laughs> he's not gonna win. <laughs> Rap is cool but crude. 
Don't forget Crude, this guy's borderline psycho. Oh Crude yes. The first punch, Raphael is certainly the most vicious of the team. Tell He's right. constantly butting heads with the others and challenging Leonardo's leadership. He uses twin side, which is like a combination of a pitchfork, dagger, and Wolverine's claw. Oh like yes. Chuck, they also humbly began as a farming tool, but were reevaluated to counter the oppressive samurai. They're best used as a close range defensive weapon. The triple prongs are designed to block, trap, and control an opponent's weapon while using the pommel to beat the enemy into submission. Raph's side can even snap swords. Raphael is not exactly the smartest fighter, usually rushing into a brawl without a plan and just overpowering a foe. Looks like the best this, way! Raphael spends much of his time honing his combat skills. It is very likely he is physically the strongest turtle. Also, no this shit! This guy's in some serious need of anger management. Oh, He's actually yes. hot headed and sometimes loses control of his rage. He is much more vicious than the other turtles and the Hulk can point, kiss his ass even became the shredder himself damn all right the combatants are set let's end oh, that'd be a good death battle actually Raphael versus the, play, the Hulk I rent the latest <laughs> Ninja Turtle game first we have it we just did all this research with it Gamefly Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice of over 7,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. Amazing! Well, starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long a as they want. A whole four? Like. There are no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. And if you really like the game, it can be yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. Go to www.gamefly.com forward slash death battle for your 15 day free trial. Well, right We're now, gonna have to stop. I'm gonna go to Gamefly right now. No, I'm seriously, I'm not. <laughs> Rath's gonna win. Mikey's gonna get Point. killed so quickly. I wanna, I wanna see how long he lasts. Donatello's got a good strategy going after the. How quick did he die? Donatello's got a good strategy actually. Attack the person who's got close range weapons with long range. <laughs> Just smack, 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 smack. Oh shit, he got angry. Yeah, that seems accurate. <laughs> yep, yeah, that. Yeah, he did. He's so dead. I thought it'd come down to this Raphael versus Leonardo. Raph's gonna kick his ass. <laughs> Raph, you're gonna win, Raph. He's just gonna. He's gonna snap the sword, you can see it. You can see the anger in him. Told you! Bullshit! No! I refuse! <laughs> Whoa! Somebody call an ambulance! Or a vet! I don't know. <laughs> there is a reason why Leonardo is the leader of the team. Not for strength or speed, but for strategy. Leonardo understands the strengths and weaknesses of the other turtles. His biggest threat was Raphael's sword snapping side, so he attacked the weakest of the group first. This means Leo let Donnie beat the hell out of Raph, who couldn't compete with Don's range. But by the time Raph got his revenge, Leo was in way better shape for the final duel. And I can hear all the fanboys raging, but Raph is yeah. a movie! He should win here! Nya, nya. No. Four reasons. One, the result of the fight was specifically plot constructed, which is rarely accurate. Two, Leonardo absolutely decimated Raph in the fist fight beforehand. Three, Leonardo didn't want to fight at all. If he did, he would have killed Raphael right here. Yeah. Slide left, uh. bam. No more rap. And fourth, that whole movie doesn't make much sense to begin with. Why should this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. He'll die from that stab, right? Doubtful for several reasons. Turtles proportionally have smaller vital organs and far more muscle mass than humans, meaning there's little chance Raphael actually hit anything important. Leo's actually been stabbed plenty of times in the series and walked away. And all four turtles have been trained in Chi Kung and can control their breathing and heart rate to survive extreme conditions. Looks like Leo got the point of this battle. The winner really? is Leonardo. Oh. Next time on Death Who's Battle, next? Leo may taste victory now, but the fight is just beginning. Got an idea Who the for fuck was battle? that? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Who the hell was the second guy? I recognized Leonardo, obviously, but who was the big green dude? Oh, so confused. Anyway.
I think Raph should have won anyway. He's just so much better than Leonardo. <laughs> I sound like such a whiny bastard. <laughs> oh, I really wanted Raph to win. I prefer him out of all of them. I really do. But you can't, you can't argue with, you know, the logic behind it. Leonardo could have easily killed Raph constantly. Yeah, uh, unfortunately I have to admit that Leonardo deserved to win. <laughs> I don't want it to be that way, but it is. But that, again, another great death battle. We finally know out of who of the turtles would win. Leonardo, unfortunately. Secretly Raph. But, you know... <laughs> I'm not trying to influence anyone in this conversation. Rough! But, uh, you know, we have to accept that, well, we all know Mikey wouldn't win. Let's face that for a fact. No one would probably say Mikey was ever going to win that. Even they were like, he better fucking not. <laughs> I like, I did like how they pointed out. They gave the idiot of the group the hardest weapon to learn. I never thought of that till then. <laughs> Oh, God. When you really think about it, Splinter isn't that fucking smart. <laughs> oh. Unless he did it for comic relief and just wanted to see Mikey being a fucking idiot of himself. <laughs> just like, I need a good laugh. Let's give the idiot the nunchucks. Oh. That was, that was really good. I, I really enjoyed that. Once again, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye!